Ishmael, a figure in the Tanakh and the Quran, was Abraham's first son according to Jews, Christians and Muslims. Ishmael was born to Abraham and Sarah's handmaiden Hagar Hajar Genesis chapter 16 verse 3. According to the Genesis account, he died at the age of 137 Genesis chapter 25 verse 17. The Book of Genesis and Islamic traditions consider Ishmael to be the ancestor of the Ishmaelites and patriarch of Qadar. According to Muslim tradition, Ishmael the patriarch and his mother Hagar are buried next to the Kaaba in Mecca. Etymology <inaudible> <inaudible> The name Yishmael existed in various ancient Semitic cultures, including early Babylonian and Minyan. It is a theophoric name translated literally as, God L has hearkened, suggesting that a child so named was regarded as the fulfillment of a divine promise. Topic: <inaudible> Genesis narrative. This is the account of Ishmael from Genesis chapters 16, 17, 21, 25. Topic: <inaudible> Birth. <inaudible> 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 In Genesis chapter 16, the birth of Ishmael was planned by the patriarch Abraham's first wife, who at that time was known as Sarai. She and her husband Abram Abraham sought a way to have children in order to fulfill the Abrahamic covenant that was established in Genesis chapter 15. Sarai was 75 years old and had yet to bear Abraham a child. She had the idea to offer her Egyptian handmaiden Hagar to her husband, so that they could have a child by her. Abraham took Hagar as his wife, and conceived a child with her. Hagar began to show contempt for Sarah, who responded by treating her harshly. Hagar then fled into the desert region between Abraham's settlement and Shur. Genesis chapter 16 verses 7 to 16 describes the naming of Ishmael, and God's promise to Hagar concerning Ishmael and his descendants. This occurred at the well of Bir Lahai Roy, where Hagar encountered an angel of God, who said to her, Behold, you are with child, and shall bear a son, you shall call him Ishmael, for the Lord has paid heed to your suffering. Abraham was blessed so that his descendants would be as numerous as the dust of the earth. God would make of Ishmael a great nation, because he was of the seed of Abraham. However, God told Hagar that her son would be a wild ass donkey of a man. Genesis chapter 16 verse 12, living in conflict with his relatives. When Ishmael was born, Abraham was 86 years old. Topic: <inaudible> Inheritance, rights and the first circumcision. When he was 13 years old, Ishmael was circumcised at the same time as all other males in Abraham's household, becoming a part of the covenant in a mass circumcision. His father Abram, given the new name, Abraham then 99, was circumcised along with the others Genesis chapter 17. At the time of the covenant, God informed Abraham that his wife Sarah would give birth to a son, whom he was instructed to name Isaac. God told Abraham that he would establish his covenant through Isaac, and when Abraham inquired as to Ishmael's role, God answered that Ishmael has been blessed and that he will make him fruitful, and will multiply him exceedingly, twelve princes shall he beget, and I will make him a great nation. Genesis chapter 17. God also mentioned that, He will be a wild donkey of a man, his hand will be against everyone, and everyone's hand will be against him, and he will live to the east of all his brothers. Genesis chapter 16. A year later, Ishmael's half brother Isaac was born to Abraham by his first wife Sarah when she was 90 years old. Genesis chapter 17 verse 17, after she had ceased showing any signs of fertility. Genesis chapter 18 verse 11. On the day of feasting during which Abraham celebrated the weaning of Isaac, Ishmael was mocking or playing with Isaac the Hebrew word mezaic mezaic is ambiguous and Sarah asked Abraham to expel Ishmael and his mother, saying, Get rid of that slave woman and her son, for that slave woman's son will never share in the inheritance with my son Isaac. Her demand was painful for Abraham, who loved Hagar and Ishmael. Abraham agreed only after God told him that in Isaac your seed shall be called, and that God would make a nation of the son of the bondwoman. Ishmael, since he was a descendant of Abraham Genesis chapter 21 verses 11 to 13, God having previously told Abraham, 
I will establish my covenant with Isaac while also making promises concerning the Ishmaelite nation Genesis chapter 17 verses 18 to 21 At the age of 14 Ishmael was freed along with his mother The Lord's covenant made clear Ishmael was not to inherit Abraham's house and that Isaac would be the seed of the covenant Take your son your only son whom you love and go to the region of Moriah Genesis chapter 22 verses 2 to 8 Abraham gave Ishmael and his mother a supply of bread and water and sent them away. Hagar entered in the wilderness of Beersheba where the two soon ran out of water and Hagar, not wanting to witness the death of her son, set the boy some distance away from herself, and wept. And God heard the voice of the lad, and sent his angel to tell Hagar, Arise, lift up the lad, and hold him in thine hand, for I will make him a great nation. And God opened her eyes, and she saw a well of water from which she drew to save Ishmael's life and her own. And God was with the lad, and he grew, and dwelt in the wilderness, and became an archer. Genesis chapter 21 verses 14 to 21 Topic. Descendants After roaming the wilderness for some time, Ishmael and his mother settled in the desert of Paran, where he became an expert in archery. Eventually, his mother found him a wife from the land of Egypt. They had twelve sons who each became tribal chiefs throughout the regions from Havilah to Shur from Assyria to the border of Egypt. His sons were Nebaioth Enbit Kedar, cuter father of the Kedarites, a northern Arab tribe that controlled the area between the Persian Gulf and the Sinai Peninsula. According to tradition, he is the ancestor of the Quraysh tribe, and thus of the Islamic prophet, Muhammad. Adbil, Debal Mibsam, Emzam Mishma, Mizam Duma, Dauv Massa, Miz Hadid, Head Tima, Tim Jetor, Our Nafish, Nipiz Kedema. Cuve Ishmael also had one known daughter, Mahalith or Basemith, the third wife of Esau. Ishmael appeared with Isaac at the burial of Abraham. Ishmael died at the age of 137. Topic. Family tree Topic. World views Historians and academics in the fields of linguistics and source criticism believe that the stories of Ishmael belong to the three strata of J, or Yahwist source, the P, or priestly source, and the E, or Elohist source see documentary hypothesis. For example, the narration in Genesis chapter 16 is of J type and the narration in Genesis chapter 21 verses 8 to 21 is of E type. Jewish and Islamic traditions consider Ishmael to be the ancestor of Arab people. Topic: <laughs> Pre-Islamic Arabia. Some pre-Islamic poetry mentions Ishmael, his father Abraham, and the sacrifice story, such as the pre-Islamic poet Omaya ibn Abi as salt, who said in one of his poems, Bur elm ikon lisper nh aura fi mishur octal the sacrifice of his firstborn of whose separation he Abraham could not bear, neither could he see him surrounded in foes. Zayd ibn Amr was another pre Islamic figure who refused idolatry and preached monotheism, claiming it was the original belief of their Arabs father Ishmael. Also, some of the tribes of central West Arabia called themselves the people of Abraham and the offspring of Ishmael", as evidenced by a common opening of speeches and harangues of reconciliation between rival tribes in that area. <inaudible> <inaudible> Judaism In Rabbinic Judaism, Ishmael has generally been viewed as wicked, the repentant. According to the book of Genesis, in the Hebrew Bible, Isaac rather than Ishmael was the true heir of the Abrahamic tradition and covenant. In some rabbinic traditions, Ishmael is said to have had two wives, one of them named Aisha. This name corresponds to the Muslim tradition for the name of Muhammad's wife. This is understood as a metaphoric representation of the Muslim world, first Arabs and then Turks, with Ishmael. Rabbinical commentators in the Midrash Genesis Rabbah also say that Ishmael's mother Hagar was the Pharaoh's daughter, thereby making Ishmael the grandson of the Pharaoh. This could be why Genesis chapter 17 verse 20 refers to Ishmael as the father of twelve mighty princes. 
According to Genesis chapter 21 verse 21, Hagar married Ishmael to an Egyptian woman, and if rabbinical commentators are correct about Hagar being the daughter of the Pharaoh, his marriage to a woman selected by the Pharaoh's daughter could explain how and why his sons became princes. However, according to other Jewish commentators, Ishmael's mother Hagar is identified with Keturah, the woman Abraham married after the death of Sarah, stating that Abraham sought her out after Sarah's death. It is suggested that Keturah was Hagar's personal name, and that Hagar was a descriptive label meaning stranger. This interpretation is discussed in the Midrash and is supported by Rashi, Ger Arye, Kelly Yaker, and Obadiah of Bertinoro. Rashi Rabbi Shlomo Itzaki argues that Keturah was a name given to Hagar because her deeds were as beautiful as incense Hebrew, Keturit, and that she remained chaste literally tied her opening with the verb tied in Aramaic being ktr from the time she was separated from Abraham. It is also said that Sarah was motivated by Ishmael's sexually frivolous ways because of the reference to his making Mary, Gen. 21-9, a translation of the Hebrew word, mitzachek. This was developed into a reference to idolatry, sexual immorality or even murder. Some rabbinic sources claim that Sarah worried that Ishmael would negatively influence Isaac, or that he would demand Isaac's inheritance on the grounds of being the firstborn. Regarding the word, mitzachek, again in Gen. 21-9, the Jewish Study Bible by Oxford University Press says this word in this particular context is associated with Playing is another pun on Isaac's name cf. 17.17, 18.12, 19.14, Ishmael was Isaacing, or, taking Isaac's place. Also others take a more positive view, emphasizing Hagar's piety, noting that she was the one who had sat by the well and besought him who is the life of the worlds, saying, look upon my misery. Topic. Quran narrative Ishmael is recognized as an important prophet and patriarch of Islam. Muslims believe that Ishmael was the firstborn of Abraham, born to him from his second wife Hagar. Ishmael is recognized by Muslims as the ancestor of several prominent Arab tribes and being the forefather of Muhammad. Muslims also believe that Muhammad was the descendant of Ishmael that would establish a great nation, as promised by God in the Old Testament. Topic. Ishmael in the Quran Ishmael is mentioned over ten times in the Quran, often alongside other patriarchs and prophets of ancient times. Ishmael is mentioned together with Elisha and Dual Kifl as one of the patiently enduring and righteous, whom God caused to enter into his mercy. It is also said of Lot, Elisha, Jonah and Ishmael, that God gave each one preference above the worlds. These references to Ishmael are, in each case, part of a larger context in which other holy prophets are mentioned. In other chapters of the Quran, however, which date from the Medina period, Ishmael is mentioned closely with his father Abraham. Ishmael stands alongside Abraham in their attempt to set up the Kaaba in Mecca as a place of monotheistic pilgrimage and Abraham thanks God for granting him Ishmael and Isaac in his old age. Ishmael is further mentioned alongside the patriarchs who had been given revelations and Jacob's sons promised to follow the faith of their forefathers, Abraham, Ishmael and Isaac, when testifying their faith. In the narrative of the near sacrifice of Abraham's son, the son is not named and, although the general interpretation is that it was Ishmael, Tabari maintained that it was Isaac. Most modern commentators, however, regard the son's identification as least important in a narrative which is given for its moral lesson. Topic. Ishmael in Muslim literature The commentaries on the Quran and the numerous collections of stories of the prophets flesh out the Islamic perspective of Ishmael and detail what they describe as his integral part in setting up the Kaaba. According to Muslim tradition, Ishmael was buried at the Hijr near the Kaaba, inside the sacred mosque. In Islamic belief, Abraham had prayed to God for a son and God heard his prayer. Muslim exegesis states that Sarah asked Abraham to marry her Egyptian handmaiden Hagar because she herself was barren. Hagar soon bore Ishmael, who was the first son of Abraham. God then instructed Abraham to take his wife Hagar and their baby Ishmael out into the desert and to leave them there. He did so taking them to the location of the Kaaba's foundations which now was in ruins and as he turned away from Hagar and started to walk away she called out to him and asked, 
Why are you leaving us here? To which Abraham didn't reply the first two times she asked. She then changed her question and asked, Did God command you to do this? To which Abraham stopped, turned around, looked back and replied, Yes. And she responded, Then God will provide for us. Abraham then continued on his return journey back to Sarah. In the desert, the baby Ishmael cried with thirst. His mother placed him in the shade under a bush and went in a frantic search for water, which resulted in her running seven times between the Safa and Marwa hills trying to find a source of water or a passing caravan who she could trade with for water. Hagar, not finding any sources of water and fearing the death of her baby, sat down and cried asking for God's help. God sent angel Gabriel to her informing her to lift up her baby and when she did, she noticed that his feet had scratched the ground allowing a spring of water to bubble up to the surface. Hagar quickly shifted the ground to form a well around the spring to contain the water forming the Zamzam well. Hagar refilled the bottle with water and gave her baby a drink. This spring became known to caravans that traveled through Arabia and Hagar negotiated deals with them for supplies in exchange for the water. From her actions, the city of Mecca originally Becca or Bacca in Hebrew grew, and attracted settlers who stayed and provided protection for her and Ishmael as well as being sources of various goods brought in and exchanged with visiting caravans. To commemorate the blessing of the Zamzam well which God gave to Hagar and Ishmael, Muslims run between the Safa and Marwa hills retracing Hagar's steps on her search for water. During the rites of Hajj, Abraham returned and visited Ishmael at various times throughout his life. At one time, according to a tradition of Muhammad, Abraham had arrived when his son was out and Abraham visited with Ishmael's wife. Abraham decided to leave before seeing his son, but based upon the complaints Ishmael's wife made in response to his questions, he gave her a message to give to her husband when he returned home, which was, change his threshold. When Ishmael arrived that night, he asked if they had had any visitors, and was informed by his wife of the man who had visited and what he said. Ishmael understood his father and explained to his wife that the visitor was his father and he had been instructed to divorce his wife and find a better one, which Ishmael did. Some time after this, Abraham returned to visit Ishmael and again Ishmael was out. Abraham talked with Ishmael's new wife and found her answers indicated faith in God and contentment with her husband. Abraham again had to leave before he saw his son, but left him the message to keep his threshold. When Ishmael returned that night, he again asked if there had been any visitors and was informed of Abraham's visit. Ishmael told his wife who it was that had come to visit and that he approved of her and their marriage. On one of his visits to Mecca, Abraham is said to have asked his son to help him build the requested Kaaba. Islamic traditions hold that the Kaaba was first built by Adam and that Abraham and Ishmael rebuilt the Kaaba on the old foundations. As Ishmael grew up in Arabia, he is said to have become fluent in Arabic. In the genealogical trees that the early scholars drew, Ishmael was considered the ancestor of the northern Arabs and Muhammad was linked to him through the lineage of the patriarch Adnan. Ishmael may also have been the ancestor of the southern Arabs through his descendant Qatan. Christianity In the book of Galatians 421-31, Paul uses the incident to symbolize the two covenants the old but fulfilled and new covenant which is universal by promise through Jesus Christ. In Galatians chapter 4 verses 28-31, Hagar is associated with the Sinai covenant, while Sarah is associated with the covenant of grace into which her son Isaac enters. Baha'i faith The Baha'i writings state that it was Ishmael, and not Isaac, who was the son that Abraham almost sacrificed. However, the Baha'i writings also state that the name is unimportant as either could be used, the importance is that both were symbols of sacrifice. According to Shoghi Effendi, there has also been another Ishmael, a prophet of Israel, commonly known as Samuel. See also Abraham Biblical narratives and the Quran Isaac Legends and the Quran List of names referring to El Prophets of Islam Stories of the Prophets Topic. Notes Topic. References Topic. Sources
Books and Journal Smetsger, Bruce M., Michael D. Coogan The Oxford Companion to the Bible. Oxford University Press. ISBN 978-0-19-504645-8. Nakaido, S. Hagar and Ishmael as Literary Figures, an Intertextual Study. Vetus Testamentum. 51 2, 219. Doi 101163 156 quadrillion 853 trillion 301 billion 300 million 102110 Werblowski, RJ ZWI Jeffrey Wigoder 1997 The Oxford Dictionary of Jewish Religion Oxford University Press ISBN 9780195086058 Quinn Daniel 1993 Ishmael. Bantam Del Pub Group. ISBN 978-0-553-56166-1, Encyclopedia Schubert Konchik, Helmuth Schneider, eds. 2005. Brill's New Poly, Encyclopedia of the Ancient World, Antiquity. Brill Academic Publishers. ISBN 978-90-04-12270-3. Paul Lagasse, Laura Goldman, Archie Hobson, Susan R. Norton, eds. 2000. The Columbia Encyclopedia, 6th ed. Gale Group. ISBN 978-1-59339-236-9. John Bowden, ed. 2005. Encyclopedia of Christianity. Encyclopedia of Christianity, 1st ed. Oxford University Press. ISBN 978-0-19-522393-4. P. J. Behrman, T. H. Bianchi, C. E. Bosworth, E. Van Donzel, W. P. Heinrichs, E. D. S. Encyclopedia of Islam Online. Brill Academic Publishers. ISSN 1573-3912. Lindsay Jones, ed. 2005. Encyclopedia of Religion, 2nd ed. Macmillan Reference Books. ISBN 978-0-02-865733-2. The New Encyclopedia Britannica. Encyclopedia Britannica, Inc., Rev. Ed. Edition. 2005. ISBN 978-1-59339-236-9. Jane Damon McAuliffe, ed. 2005. Encyclopedia of the Qur'an. Encyclopedia of the Quran. Brill Academic Publishers. ISBN 978-90-04-12356-4 External links Genealogy from Adam to the Twelve Tribes Ishmael in Islam The Jewish Encyclopedia, Ishmael Biographical study on Ishmael Herbermann, Charles, ed. 1913. Ismael. Catholic Encyclopedia. New York, Robert Appleton Company. Ishmael in Baha'i Faith.